Good morning everyone. Today I am going to explain about engine. Engine. What is engine? Engine is a device which converts available form of energy into useful form of energy. First we need to know about the forms of energy. Chemical energy, heat energy, mechanical energy, electrical energy. How you get the mechanical energy and the heat energy and electrical energy? So in our nature freely available and most of the cases we can buy chemical form of energies only. So the chemical form of energy is converted into heat energy with the help of combustion process. After completion of combustion process, chemical form of energy is converted into heat energy. That heat energy is converted into mechanical energy with the help of heat engine. So after that, that mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy with the help of alternator or generator. So this heat engine is again classified into two types. One is IC engine and EC engine. IC engine means internal combustion engine and EC engine means external combustion engine. If the combustion takes place inside the combustion chamber, then it is inside the engine, then it is called as internal combustion engine. If the combustion takes place outside the engine, then it is called as the external combustion engine. So all our roadside automobiles is best example for the IC engines and industrial applications and power plants are the applications for the external combustion engine. First, we go, I am going to explain about IC engines. IC engines are also classified into so many types based on the different parameters. Uh, we need to consider first one parameters that is strokes. Based on the strokes, we can classify into four stroke engine and two stroke engine. Here, four stroke engine and two stroke engine. In this engine, it completes the cycle of operations. That is, cycle of operations completed in the four strokes of the piston, then is called as four stroke engine. If the cycle of operations is completed in two strokes of the piston, then it is called as the two stroke engine. What is the cycle of operations? Suction, compression, expansion, exhaust. These are the cycle of operations. So this is completed in four strokes. Four strokes is nothing but suction stroke, compression stroke, expansion stroke, exhaust stroke. So suction stroke is completed in suction, suction process and compression process is completed in compression stroke and expansion process is completed in expansion process and exhaust process is completed in exhaust stroke. So but in if you consider a micro analysis, it's not four processes. All the processes are five. So not four processes. First one is suction process, and next one is compression process, next one is combustion process, and next one is expansion process, next one is exhaust process. These are the five processes. But we are considered only four processes and four strokes. Why is uh, combustion process separately we are not given any stroke why right? because suction stroke gives the suction process and compression process completed the compression process and expansion process completed the expansion and exhaust completed the exhaust so what about compression so compression some of the part is completed in compression process and some of the portion is completed in expansion process first This is the line diagram of IC engine. This is the line diagram of IC. This is the PDC, top dead center and PDC, bottom dead center and piston, connecting rod, crankshaft, inlet valve, exhaust valve, spark plug. If you consider this one is the petrol engine, we need to place here spark plug. Otherwise, if you consider this one is the diesel engine, in this place we are installed here fuel injector. So, in this first stroke, suction stroke, Piston moves from TDC to DDC. Suction stroke, piston moves from TDC to DDC. In the stroke, volume is decreases at the time. Inlet valve is in open position. Whatever the charge waiting outside the inlet valve that is entering into the chamber. So after reaching the piston from 
TDC to DDC at that time inlet valve closes so total ch chamber is closed one so after completion of suction stroke piston moves from BDC to TDC at that time volume decreases piston reaches to TDC position simultaneously automatically drastical changes are occurred in what inside the charge that is pressure increases and temperature also increases every fuel having the self ignition temperature so here we are generating this at an amount of temperature inside the charge so that is not sufficient to reach the self ignition temperature of the petrol so that's why additionally extra you are giving the additional spark plug when it's not spark plug, it, it gives the spark at the end of the compression stroke. Automatically combustion takes place after compression, after uh, taking, after completion of the combustion process, piston moves from PDC to VDC. At that time only we are getting the power. That's why expansion stroke is also called as power stroke. In this entire cycle, we are getting only in the stroke, we are getting the power. So that's why it is called as power stroke. After completion of the expansion stroke, uh, piston moves from BDC to TDC at the top, exhaust valve is in open position, whatever the charge is converted into smoke that is <coughs> entering into the atmosphere through the exhaust valve. So based on this, we can draw the pit diagram for the IC engine of 4 stroke SI engine. It is auto cycle. So for our convenience, so that IC engine is, we can draw in horizontal position like this. If you consider this one is the inlet valve, this one is the exhaust valve, piston, here DDC, here VDC. So, this is the PV diagram. In vertical line, we are considered as the pressure and horizontal position, we are taking as the volume. So, here, first initially, first stroke is suction. Suction stroke, piston moves from TDC to BDC. Here, this one is the TDC. TDC to BDC. Piston moves from TDC to BDC. At that time, volume increases. Charge entering into the chamber. So, after the second stroke is compression. What happened in compression stroke? Piston moves from BDC to TDC. Volume decreases, pressure increases. So, here volume decreases coming to original position. Piston move reaches to original position. Volume decreases, pressure increases to 0, 1, 2. So, after that, third stroke is third stroke. Before going to third stroke, what happened? Combustion process is takes place. In combustion process, so at the end of the compression process, spark plug gives the spark. So, that is heat entering into the system so that is <coughs> sorry so this is the thought process after that what happened expansion process takes place in expansion process piston moves from tdc to bdc position again volume is increases so like this so this is the expansion process this is the compression one heat input and this one is the expansion process after that, exhaust process. So, this is the work done on the system. Heat is supplied here. Work done by the system. And heat output is here. This is the PV diagram for the spark uh, SI engine. In SI engine, this one is the auto cycle or constant volume cycle. This is also called as constant volume cycle or auto cycle. So, in this four process are completed in the two strokes only. If the piston moves from one dead center to another dead center, is nothing but stroke. If the four process are completed in two strokes of the piston, then it is called as the two stroke engine. In two stroke engine, we are having only ports. In two stroke engine, we don't have the any walls. In four stroke engine, only walls and separate wall mechanism is there. In, four, in two stroke engine, only ports is there. Ports is operated with the help of only piston movement in separate uh, valve operating mechanism is not there so that's why it is simple mechanism and simple design in four stroke engine valve operating mechanism and valve, valve actuating mechanism so many complicated mechanisms is also there in four stroke engine this is a high speed engine and for two stroke engine is the simple engine and it not gives the 
more efficient. So four stroke engine gives the high efficiency. So this is the two stroke and four stroke engines. Thank you.